Hi, I'm Kathy Itson, and I'm here today for this installment of the Three Gs. And welcome. It's good to be with you even in a virtual way. Today I want to reflect on how with the shorter uh, days, we've got more darkness, we've got less time it feels like, although it might actually be equal, but the shortness of days kind of reminds me of how our time is limited and how do we spend that. And it reminded me of a study I read that in 1930, uh, the Kellogg Company, in answer to the, the Great Recession, decided to go from three eight-hour shifts to four six-hour shifts. And it was a revolution at the time, and it actually kind of would be today too. But their idea was, if we can get four shifts, we can employ more people. And in the Great Recession, that was really important. And so they wanted to be fair to their workers, and they said, we'll try this experimentally for a year, and we will pay you for your eight hours, even though you're only putting in six. And after that, we'll see how it goes. And so everybody did. And then at the end of the year, they assessed with their workers, men and women, how was this for you? Do you want to go back to the eight or do you want to keep on with the six? And everyone said, no, we absolutely want to do the six. The men as well as women said, we appreciate having the extra time at home, extra time with our spouse, extra time with our children. And it was kind of a surprise for the men to say that because they were thinking, well, women want to be at home more in those days, especially when roles were more defined but they were surprised to find the men enjoyed it just as much as the women. And they felt that extra time with the families and those they love was more important. And then later on, we went through the Second World War and they kept on every year preferring the six hour, four six hour shifts. They had to change it up a little bit during the Second World War, but that's what everybody clearly wanted by like an 85% margin, something like that. And then when we entered the 60s and the 70s, people started shifting the value of time with the value of money. And suddenly money was more important than the time. And the idea of being a successful business person was more important than spending time with your family. And so there was a big shift in America, especially. And so today, for instance, Americans buy three times as much, go shopping three times as much as those in Europe. And I'm not saying buy more things, I'm saying going shopping. We spend more time doing that. Wealth and finance and consumerism shifted with what used to be valued more in time and family. And so that's a question for us. What do we equate the value of our time with? How do we most importantly spend it? What are our priorities? And I think that's an important thing for us to look at many times. The call of the holidays and time with family or not time with family or time with loved ones also is that same kind of a challenge, I think, for us to look at really how do we spend that and even with COVID and working from home and not working from home now or some of us still are or being retired to sometimes take a step back and look at what is the more important thing when i am dying what am i going to wish that i had spent more time doing that's a fantastic question and then the next question is and then why am i not doing that now and some of it of course you can't because of the circumstances of your life you can't be on a vacation every day but am I choosing in the time that I've got to spend it with the most important people doing the most important things? And Europe has us on this over and over again. The time allotted for paternity care, maternity care, um, family time, all of that is way different than what we spend in the United States because we were such an industrial consumeristic country, capitalistic of course, but also trying to equate success with what am I doing with my life? My children are very different than I am. My children are not as driven to work as hard at their jobs, but they're good at their jobs. And they spend more time doing things that are important. And I think, boy, I'm not sure I raised everybody well with that. It's important to have a good work ethic, of course. But it's more important, I think, to step back sometimes and look at what are the most important things how are you spending that time, the time that is allotted to us, which is why we call spending it, because it's limited. And we're doling it out as we choose. So choose well. Amen.